so recently we made the purchase of this wood burner and I thought I'd do a quick video, not really a, a full on review, just to give you an idea of why we chose this model and uh, the kind of things we found out. We've only had it in a few days, but I thought it'd be good to have a quick video and give you a bit of an update. Uh, so the model is a Clearview Vision 500. Uh, the output, I believe, is uh, up to about eight kilowatts. So that meant we had to have an external air vent somewhere in the room or uh, a, a direct air feed. And I've done a fair bit of research into it and I had a, a preference over having a direct feed. It meant we weren't pulling in air into the room from elsewhere in the house, uh, especially with the drafty kind of doors in this old house. So but basically you've got a box underneath which fits over the, uh, the original vent and then that is ducted out. And in this case, we've gone out through the back of the wall um, and I, I've used some steel pipe for that. It's not subjected to any heat, so you can use uh, a variety of different ducting for that. But I found some good um, three inch pipe and we use that and that'll work really, really quite well. So this is the, uh, the stove itself. Still a little bit warm from last night. As you can imagine, having a stove, you want to use it straight away. So it's had some good use in the first in its first few days. So the the fire itself is a Clearview Vision 500, and it's a really great product. Uh, as far as the build quality goes, we didn't find much which came close to uh, came close to this. It's a UK company as well. And when we did a quick search to have a look at things like um, the spares, whether it was fire bricks or rope or glass they were so easily um, kind of readily available so that was another great benefit for going from what is quite a popular stove and probably one of the you know best renowned stoves um, that people tend to have in this country so uh, it's a steel stove rather than a cast iron uh, whether the, the door may be cast iron I'm not sure um, but a really really solid steel um, stove itself very heavy uh, took uh, you can manage with two of you, but uh, it's certainly you want to take your time moving it around. Uh, the the box on the bottom was an additional purchase. Uh, I believe it was about eighty pounds. Uh, so it was, a, it was a, a, fa a fairly big outlay for for that option um, for what it is really. But it did mean that we didn't have to have that that vent elsewhere in the room, like I said. So we found it really really easy to light so far. It's still a bit warm from last night. As you can imagine, we've had this going since we've um, had it fitted. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we threw a few logs on there just to see what the overnight burn was like. And uh, although the, the ashes have really died down, it's still got a bit of heat there. So, anyway, we'll get it lit now and uh, see if we can get a nice fire going. Using the old price list from the uh, stove shop. There's actually still some embers in there, so it won't, won't take much. So a little bit of kindling, plenty of kindling from uh, the house renovation, as some of you will know. Having stripped out lots of panelling and this really brittle sort of cedar, cedar panelling. And just pop a few larger pieces. These are all offcuts from a joinery, really, really dry hardwood, um, burn really well. So pop a couple of those bits on. We'll shut the door and open the vent. Now it's got this vent here. From what I've read, it I think this is more for kind of coal, um, whereas the main vent is uh, is controlled from underneath. And we found that if you just open the door just a little bit, it really gets a good feed of air in there and it ignites pretty quickly. So the embers that were there have been enough actually to light this. Otherwise it's just a single uh, match or lighter. So I'll shut the door, let this get going and, uh, and we'll have a look at the burn. So this model is a multi-fuel fire, so if you wanted to, you could burn the kind of smokeless fuels and the coal and, and all that sort of stuff on there. We're primarily going to be using it for wood. Um, got fairly good supply from the renovation itself and from woodworking projects. 
um, of some fairly substantial kind of hardwood offcuts and uh, and also we've got local supplies of logs so should you want to use it for coal uh, as I said this vent here gives that sort of under fire um, airflow and also you've got the the slider on the side which will kind of move the plate inside to loosen your ash and get it down into the tray there's a tray on the inside where you simply open the door and then pull out the tray so it's been going a couple of minutes now and as you can see it really takes off pretty quickly um, that's with the vent fully open now as I said at the beginning you can leave the door ajar it really helps um, but at this point if you open the door it really lights the fire up a lot so at this point you can obviously slide in this little adjuster which is just basically a little steel plate which closes over the the aperture on the bottom of the stove and it can close that right down and it's almost like immediate it's really really um, effective and you can really vary what you what you want to do with the fire if we we're going overnight like we tried last night we just really rammed it all the way in and uh, and it just ticked away and then if I just pull it out again you can hear the air coming through actually underneath and uh, and that really takes off again so the main thing that attracted us to this uh, stove was the the size of the door in the past we'd had two doors uh, at our old property and by the time you've got the fire guard around for for kids you've got to open that door and then you've got two doors to mess around with so we wanted one door and we also wanted a, a large viewing uh, you know a large window on it so that was um, what really drew us to this model I'll leave you with a few close-ups of the features of the fire and uh, and what I'll probably do is another video in, in a few days which will be on the actual fitting process of the, of the stove how we got it fitted and how we uh, kind of saved quite a bit of money by sourcing a lot of the stuff ourselves so I'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.